Hey, Troy, what's going on, buddy? Stanley, how are you? It's great to see you. I'm doing fantastic, man. What's happening? Well, I just, you know, I'm sitting here doing my homework and I, math has been something I don't really care about. I'm just not that smart. Oh, you know, I, I, I never like doing homework either, but you not being smart, I'm going to challenge that thought. Tell me a little bit more about that. Every time I go to do math, it just, it's really challenging. And, you know, sometimes I get problems wrong at school and I just, I see the other kids around me getting high grades on their test. And, you know, when we go through math problems in class, they do great. And I, I just don't. So I'm just not very smart, especially when it comes to math. Is the teacher giving you a different test? No. Are you sure? No, I think it's the same test. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know, maybe, maybe the way that you learn is different than the other kids. And I know for a fact that you're pretty daggone smart. Thanks, Sam. That means a lot. You go out and you um, can label leaves from multiple different trees, okay? You run faster than anybody on your track team, okay? So your strengths and their strengths, maybe math isn't your your deal right now. Maybe there's a different way that you could learn math. Have you approached your teacher and asked if there's something that you're missing? You're so right. I just, I do love nature and, you know, sports are something that I think about constantly. I just really enjoy it. I haven't. And maybe I should, maybe I should ask for a little help. I'm I'm trying to learn the same way as, as my friends are, and it's just not working out for me. So, you know, maybe there, maybe there's a way that I could learn in nature or associated to things that I like, uh, and that'll help me understand it better. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of times we, uh, once, once something doesn't go the way that we had hoped that it did one time, we start to put that into a cycle and we collect these ants. And the ants are the automatic negative thought. When something goes wrong once, then we think that it's gonna go wrong again. And we're already making it go wrong before it goes wrong. So that might be one of the things about your test that you weren't satisfied with a grade before and you think that the same outcome is inevitable. And that is a negative thought that becomes automatic and maybe could be something as simple as changing the seating in your classroom that could give you a different outlook and um, a different perception of your environment. Yeah, and I might find out that, you know, different classmates learn math in other areas differently than I do, and I could maybe ask them to help me out. Yeah, yeah. And if all else fails, go up to the teacher and just ask, what are you missing? And I'm sure that they're going to tell you. They're going to give you a simple tool that could change everything in math. Yeah, I guess if I really ask myself if I'm if I'm smart or not, that, you know, it's not true for me to say that I'm not smart. Um, so I think it's time for me to ask. Thank you, Stanley. Ah, great. And you are very smart. Just so I'm just going to tell you. All right. Have a great day, bud. Thank you.